When it comes to fall, many spring for the idea of pumpkin spice latte to help warm up. But what can you do when it's the pumpkins themselves that are cold? Well, MTN's Maren Sue shows us how this recent cold snap is bringing an extra challenge to fall festivities. Big or small, one Kalispell farmer finds that the consistent cooler temperatures do impact the farm's pumpkins. Megan Lester, owner and operator of Whitefish Stage Organic Farms, has farmed this property for the past five years. Pumpkin picking is a favorite activity of many who come to the farm. So this year, Lester tried a different pumpkin growing technique. Usually we transplant them out in just dirt. This year I experimented and do, did black plastic bed rows that I do with the tractor and then planted them in black plastic, which is good for heating up the soil. And they, I wanted to see if they maybe grew a little bit bigger. This new technique proved to be unsuccessful. As Lester says, it's the coldest September she's experienced in 10 years. The lack of warmth this summer and the rain, it just kind of slows down the growth. And I did notice with the jack-o'-lanterns, they weren't near as big as I'd hoped. Lester says the unusually cold weather this past weekend damaged some of the pumpkins. Walking out in the field earlier, you know, there's a couple pumpkins that have rotted. That weather forced Lester to shut down the popular maze at the farm. Usually if it's drizzling a little bit and a little chilly, people will still come out and play. But if it's 30 mile an hour winds and snowing, People usually don't want to come out with their kids. Lester says as long as nighttime temperatures stay above 25 degrees, the pumpkins should continue to grow at a normal rate. In Kalispell, Marin Sioux, MTN News.